Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show the demo on how to resolve one SQL interview question. The question is here, how many ways to calculate the age of the employee using date of birth column in MySQL? Yes, we need to calculate the age of the employee using date of birth column in three different ways. First one is date diff function and second one is timestamp diff and third one is year. So now I will tell one after other these three different ways to calculate the age. So before that I will show my table here select star from EMP. So here I have id name date of birth and high date column. I have only date of birth. Now I want to calculate the age based on this date of birth for all employees. So first by using the date diff function. Select name comma date of birth comma date diff. Date diff will take two parameters. First one is two arguments that is two dates. So first I am giving the curve date. Curve date is nothing but today's date comma and second argument I passed here is date of birth. It will return the difference in number of days. So I am subtracting the number of days with the 365. So that I am getting the age as age from M. This is the query. So if you observe the output here age you will see all in decimals so 33.49 34.9 31.6 i want to make it as a round figure so for that i am using the round function round i want to round the number see now it's clear so this is how you know to use the age by using date diff function. I am using the timestamp diff function. Select name comma date of birth comma time stamp diff. This is the function name. So it will take three arguments. First one is interval. So I am passing the interval here as year. And second one is year. I am taking as date of birth. Date of birth and third one is curve date. Curve date is nothing but get date. That means today's date as age from M. Timestamp difference take three parameters. First one is year, year means interval. So if you want to know the age in months, just to change it as month. So that it will take age of the employee in months. This is in years, this is in months. Okay. Now by using the last function year. Select name, comma, date of birth, comma, year of code date. Year of so it means 2023 and subtracting year of data. As age from year. See here. I am taking year of code date. I am subtracting year of data birth from year of code date. So that you will get the age, years. That means here I am subtracting 1990 from 2023. Year of code means 2023. So that you will get 33 years. Like that you will get the output. So by these three functions, by these three ways, you can get the age of employee using data birth column in your SQL table. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.